Dallas County is reporting its second flu-related death of the year, and a third case is pending. Tarrant County's also recorded two flu-related deaths this season. And health officials say this year's vaccine is less effective than it was earlier in the season. Fox's Natalie Felice at the Dallas County Health Department to explain what's going on. Natalie. All right, well, Rich, health officials uh, really aren't saying much about this latest flu-related death. We do not know if this person had underlying health conditions, as is often the case. We do not know uh, this person's age, but we are told that it was an adult and that the strains of flu that health officials are seeing right now are not the same ones that we started with this season. A busy afternoon at Doherty's Pharmacy in Preston Hollow, where pharmacist Wayne McMeans is fielding questions about the flu vaccine. Well, a lot of them are asking, is it too late? I don't believe it's too late. Dallas County now outpacing the national average when it comes to the number of positive flu tests. So over the last few weeks, we have seen a significant increase in our patients that are presenting with cough, cold, runny nose. And emergency room docs like Brad Sellers at Methodist Dallas seeing more people with the flu who already had the flu shot, like Maggie Chandler. Flu has hit our, hand, our family. It hit Maggie pretty hard. She woke up one day feeling dizzy. The next day she had 103 fever. The reason? Drift or mutation of the H3N2 strain. When the manufacturers of the flu vaccine make the flu vaccine, it's in February of the year preceding the viral season. So we have to kind of predict the future when we're making those flu vaccines. And because of that drift, the Dallas County Health Department says about 70% of the H3N2 strains are now not covered under the current vaccine. Still, healthcare professionals continue to recommend it. <laughs> And some people are taking that advice seriously in hopes of some chance of avoiding the flu. Everyone should have their flu shot, no question. Maggie's mom, Nancy Chandler, says her family will continue to get the flu shot in years ahead, although her big concern is a lot more immediate. I'm hoping that maybe if it's hit so early, the good thing might be, I hope it's not as strong after the kids go back to school. That would be nice. All right, well, unfortunately, doctors say they do tend to see a bump in flu cases uh, right after the Christmas holiday because everyone is together and uh, kind of spreading it around. Now, for those who do plan on still getting the shot, doctors say uh, it is uh, in good supply, so plenty in stock. Although Tamiflu, that is the drug used to treat the flu once you already have it, the pharmacist that we talked to says he anticipates that may start getting harder to find in the next few weeks. Richard. Natalie, I know doctors are still recommending you get the shot if you haven't had it yet, but will it help people over the Christmas holiday if they get that shot now? <sighs> Right, so some people might hear this story and want to run to their pharmacy and, and doctors say, yes, please get the shot, but don't think that it's going to help you in the next couple of days because it does take the body, um, you know, about a week to 10 days to develop a, a resistance to the flu. Uh, but again, doctors say you want to get that shot to uh, protect yourself through January and February, even though uh, there it is covering fewer strains this season. But they say for Christmas, you got to just go back to the basics, do all the things that we've been telling people all along. Wash your hands, use sanitizer, cough and sneeze uh, into your elbow.